Okay, uh, I've made an update to Creo, uh, and for more details on the functionality, you can go and have a quick look at that video because Creo in uh, Islands is the same as the code of the Creo in uh, Creo MIDI. Um, some very slight nuance, but it is essentially the same library. Uh, so uh, I've made a couple of changes this week. The first one you can hear here. Um, if we go into the programmer and look at the envelope, you will see there's now two parameters for each A, D, A, D, yes, and R. A, D and R all have uh, a curve setting on the second. It goes from minus 10, which is very X. So we're looking at decay. So that means the curve goes like that and then you can make it closer and closer to a straight line. So we, what we're doing, we're, <laughs> we're straightening it like that as we turn it up towards zero. And then as we turn it bigger, we're going the other way. So it's coming down like this. So you can get, as you can hear, quite a range of snappiness. Uh, and, and the exp is really nice for snappy envelope so that's that's quite nice um so i added that in um the next thing is i've added uh the preset mode to Creo. so Creo is here if you hold this button down and go here this is the preset mode um you get to it slightly different when Creo, but Ireland has got more functions so more buttons um so in the preset mode uh You've got your usual, so you've got your glyph thing, you've got your preset thing, so here's one I stored earlier, uh, and you retrieve it by one click, two click. And then if we go into Creo, you can see there's just a sequence I stored earlier. And these are kept on save and lo uh, lo loading and saving the script. So if I switch to the script and switch back, this would still be in there. Um, just like Creo, it stores the entire state of Creo, uh, and you've got the the eight slots there uh, to switch between. And again, no resetting mechanism. Uh, and if I add that to Creo MIDI, it'll get added here. Uh, and that's really about it.